get something monumental very very important so we're going to get right into it and um, this will be in Sadie's forecaster in the first paragraph it's one of the most uh, important uh, pieces that I've um, put together ever uh, the following information be might might be the most important we have ever published uh, one of our intelligence sources highly placed in banking circles tells us that on 1-1-2010 all banks that have received TARP funds must give the Fed a uh, a rundown on where they are and how much they can pay back. Uh, the TARP recipients were to, told to restrict any commercial lending of any kind uh, to about 25% of what people ask for. In other words, if you ask for 100000 you've got to come up with 50000 yourself in cash and collateral of an additional 75000 So uh, the loan would be protected 125%. And uh, and so you're getting 50 grand in cash, but you're laid out for 125 grand if you can't pay back. And those are the new rules as of January the first. Um, I was told by my source, and believe me, this is so important. And I'm glad you're running this program again on Friday. Uh, and this is the first time I've announced this because I just got this information from the source today. There are not 552 banks in danger. There are 2,035 banks in imminent danger of collapse. So that means next year we're probably going to get 2,500 to 3,000 failures. And the cost to bail out those 2,000 banks, 2,035, would be about $800 billion to $1 trillion. The Fed wants to close as many banks as possible. And this is the consolidation process that they're engaging in to move forward to world government. This is what they're up to. The FDIC has already secretly gotten $80 billion from the Treasury. And they, uh, the Treasury is preparing to close or collapse the FDIC by next September or by year end. So no accounts will be insured. And of course, money market accounts, they're not guaranteeing anymore after September the 18th. So that's history. <clears throat> Now, this is the dilemma that the Fed is in, as it was explained to me. The Fed needs to pull $1.5 trillion out of the system by June. If they do that, they stand the chance of collapsing the economy. If they don't do that, we'll have hyperinflation. And that is why they need banks to set up plans for TARP payback so they can get some liquidity. Now maybe they get three or four hundred billion back during the year. Let's say five hundred billion. That still leaves them with a trillion they gotta find. And I hope you can follow all this because this is written you know, I talked on the phone to this party and I scribbled this down. I haven't formally written this thing yet, so you gotta bear with me. Um, the bankers are being told at the very, very top level, and this guy is a top guy that I talked to, uh, they were told to find space for new currency. The dollar will be devalued by the end of 2010. I've been talking a year and a half, maybe two, two and a half years. This is official. Now I'm going to get more information in about three weeks. 
and I'll be back to you with that. Um, they believe commercial real estate next year is going to implode. Uh, there's a company called Inland American, which is a private corporation. I don't know anything about them. But he said um, they have been buying up properties, prime properties, for 40 cents on the dollar. They're going to stop until next March or April so they can buy them up at 30 cents. Uh, they also told me and um, that the feds and banking, Wall Street, are 100 percent expecting a complete crash and destruction of the bond market, especially municipal bonds. They expect municipal defaults to skyrocket in 2010. Look for public services to be reduced dramatically, leading to higher crime rates and so forth. One other note, over 50% of the homes in hard-hit areas like Las Vegas are worth less than what the home was mortgaged for.